Hello and welcome back to the Hammered Leatherworks Studio. Today's sew along we're going to be making the multi pouch, that's this one here. This one was done in the natural leather with a chocolate brown stitch. I've got my sunnies in there at the moment. So let's put that to the side. In your kit you'll receive uh, four precision cut pieces. One, two, three, four. Thread, needle, the buckle, and the instructions. Um, to complete the kit, you will need a pair of scissors to cut the thread. So today we are going to follow the instructions exactly how they're written, how you, how you will receive them. Our first step is to get organised and lay your pieces in front of you. You'll notice that all the pieces are numbered on the back. So this is piece one, piece four, piece two and piece three. So we've got to know we've got everything we need. Step two, we are going to sew pieces one and two together. So we're going to put three and four aside along with the buckle. Let's move that to the side. Here we go. So the instructions say Holding the finished side of piece one towards you, slide piece two underneath with the finished side facing you. So these are both the right side up. Line up the top hole with the top hole by sliding piece two underneath. So this piece here is going to go onto the side, lining up the top hole with the top hole. We're going to sew these pieces together in three steps, A, B and C. So to start stitching, you are going to stitch from this top hole to this bottom hole first. So following the instructions in, at the top for measuring thread or even watching our stitching video, we're going to prepare our thread. One, two, three, four, plus a needle length because it's a short seam. Place that up there. And thread our needle. So we've threaded our needle. Start stitching between the two pieces coming up through the third hole down. Stitch to the corner and head back up to the top using the above instructions for a reinforcing and finishing knot. So to start between the layers we pick up the top piece, we come up the third hole down, one, two, three. Remember to leave a decent tail so you can tie a knot. Slide piece two underneath piece one lining up our holes we're going to stitch down to the bottom and back up to the top again gone to the top we've put a stitch in every hole what we're going to do next is our reinforcing stitch. So that's where we put two layers of thread in our last hole. There we go. So as you can see, we have two layers of thread in that hole there. We're going to turn it over. We're going to go down the next hole down, coming out where we started. So we're going to come out between the layers. There we go. And then we're going to tie our finishing knot. So just like shoelaces, left over right, right over left. Trim. That might be a bit long actually, a bit shorter. Trim and tuck.
Now the next step is we're going to stitch the bottom. So once again we need to measure our thread. One, two, three, four, and add a needle length. The reason we add a needle length on a short seam is because you need to be able to turn the needle to get in the seam. So we just need to make sure that we're a little bit generous there. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this flap to the inside like so folding the pouch over and matching up our holes. If you're not sure if you're lined up correctly what you can do is actually pull the front up line that up with your top hole as we did for the first seam And then you'll be able to look at it and go, okay, well that's the last hole there, so this is my first hole. So we're going to fold that down. You can even count the number of holes down, because you can obviously, you can count the number of holes here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you know the one after number 12, that thread, that hole you can actually come up, that you can make that your first stitch. So there we go. So we're going to line that up. So that first hole will hang in the square cut out corner. There we go. There we go. So now we're going to stitch across the bottom. This is a bit fiddly, but the result is definitely worth it because it hides the seams and it makes them for a really nice finish. If you're finding it a bit hard to get in there, you can just do the centre four holes. Uh, I like to go all the way across. I just think it looks a lot nicer. Okay, there we go. So we've stitched all the way across our bottom seam. We're going to reinforce that last stitch to make it nice and secure. Oops. There we go. Pull off our needle and tie our knot. Same as we did before, trim and tuck. So there we have two sides on. There's one more to go. So same as we did before, we're going to measure our thread. One, two, three, four, plus a needle length. There we go. Now we're going to do the final side. So we're going to come up the third hole down through just piece one. leaving a nice tail as we did before tucking the flap in at the corner like we did for the bottom laying piece one over piece two lining up our holes
There we go. You may find if you're having trouble holding the end or getting your first few stitches in, you can use a bulldog clip at the top. Just put a piece of paper over the leather before you put it on because you wouldn't want to scratch the leather. So. There we go, it's tucking in nicely now. So just this one is a little bit fiddly, so take your time, line your holes up, do your stitching properly. So do our final stitch. There we go. Our reinforcing stitch. There we go, we have two layers of thread in that hole there now. And then we're going to just pull that, just flick that out. Now we're going to put two layers of thread in this stitch here, coming up through the center of the two pieces. I'll try and manipulate this so it's easy for you to see. So they're keeping the tails inside the seam. There we go. So we're going to knot that off now. And trim. And tuck. There we go. There we go. You have put your first side in. You're halfway there. It will look like this. And now we're going to follow the same instructions to put the other side in. So we're going to take piece three, which is this one here. We're going to lay it face up on the side there. Measure our thread. One, two, three, four, and a bit. There we go. And thread our needle again. So once again coming up the third hole down, leaving a tail, then sliding piece three underneath, there we go, and we're going to go all the way down and back up again. Okay, we're in the last stitch. We're going to reinforce that last stitch by putting two layers of thread in it. So up we go. Down we go. Two layers of thread in the hole there. Turn it over. Two layers of thread in the third hole down again. Just as we did before. 
coming up between the layers where our tail was to start with. And knot and trim. Trim and tuck. There we go. Now we're going to do the bottom. So measuring the thread again. One, two, three, four, and a little bit. There we go. There we go. Same again. So if you want to start in the same spot as you did last time, just coming up, oops, coming up through that what last hole, bending the leather to make it mould and into that first hole in the base piece, folding that flap under. There we go, so I'm back where I started now. We're going to reinforce that final stitch as we did on the other side. Sometimes you just need to push that corner out a bit to make it a bit easier to get in there so you can line it up. Oops. There we go. So we're putting our two layers of thread in that final hole. Oops. There we go. Tying our knot. And we're going to trim Oops. and tuck. So you've measured and cut your thread and we're on our final seam. So we're going to come up the third hole down, leaving a nice tail, fold it over the top of the piece again as we did for the other side. And we're going to sew all the way down to the corner and back again. Oops. There we go. Once again, if you find it difficult to get your holes to stay lined up while you do this, you can pop a bulldog clip on the end will definitely help. This seam's going to be the hardest because it's the last one and your multi pouch is starting to close in. So once again just take your time Go all the way down to the bottom. Last hole. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. So we're on our way back up again now. We're going to reinforce that last stitch as we did before. That means putting the two layers of thread in the hole. As you can see there, you've got the two layers of thread in this hole, same as that one there. So now we're going to, I'm just going to turn this inside out so it's easier for you to see. We're going to go down that third hole down, but only through the one layer coming up between. And pull. So we're going to knot. trim and tuck there we go there we go you have put the sides on your mini pouch so we're just going to set that aside for a minute but now the last step is to add is to sew the buckle onto the strap so holding the strap with the seven holes at the top you're going to thread through the buckle push the tongue through the oblong hole in the center and then thread underneath so it looks like this then you pull the buckle so it's upright like this lining up the three holes. We're going to stitch those three holes to um, secure the buckle on the strap. So you should have a little bit of thread left. Re-thread our needle. and we're going to sew the buckle on so you can either start in the center hole or you can start at the bottom hole both work leaving a tail so you've got plenty of room to knot it the trick is to line up that first hole and pinch hold the two layers together as you sew them to keep the holes lined up. Just let the buckle dangle there on the end. So there's only two stitches. So we're going to stitch through all three holes twice just to make it super secure. So there we go. We have two layers of thread. Same on the back there. And then we're going to go through the one layer and out the other side. Do our knot and our tuck as we've done before. Knot. Trim. And tuck. There we go. There's your buckle on your strap. Our very last step is to thread the strap through the slots in the bottom of the pouch just weave it through pull it up do the slots on the back of the flap here we go pull it through close it over and voila Buckle it up. And you've done. You have made the multi pouch. I hope you've enjoyed this project and this instructional video. 
Uh, don't forget to shop online and we'd love to see you connect with us on Pinterest, Facebook and Instagram.